Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everywhere you are in the world. Happy to you all. And this is a beautiful day the Lord has made. On behalf of the founder and general overseer, wife and team, we are glad you are here with us and welcome to Holy Ghost Deliverance in Christ Ministry International, a.k.a. Paul L. Baker Ministries. Our mission theme is Jesus Finish Work Movement. And our mission is to preach to all nations about the good news, which is Christ Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost. Indoors and outdoors meetings are our main goals for reaching the unreachable people. Church planting and making leaders is all included in the package. A place where everyone is welcome to meet God and make their supplications through Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Our monthly and weekly programs Every first Sunday of every month, we have Holy Communion, and every Sundays, we have online live stream services at 11 o'clock a.m. And Fridays, we have Holy Ghost Hour, Deliverance, and Baptism with Holy Communions at 5.30 p.m. Sub-Holy Ghost Hours. You can find uh, uh, us on podcast anytime. We are open anytime, any hours. And on Sub-Holy Ghost Hours, you will find experience and practicals, cost of being a disciple, our offices hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. For now, all our programs are online. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, our website, and more. Please, our followers, if you are led to be a support to our mission, you can follow the link online. If you want to contact us, please contact us through the phone number plus one two five three two two nine zero five five six and on our email address at holy ghost d two zero zero five at gmail dot com please help me welcome paul l becker and please do not forget to share like and subscribe Happy Sunday and thank you all.
Amen and amen and amen. People of God, it's another moment. It's another hour. It's another Holy Sunday. We are about to start the program. As usual, as this year is a year of singing, praising, and dancing for our maker, our father, our fighter. So we are about to play a song which we do not have a copyright to the song, but for teachings and educational raising, we are making use of it. The right belongs to the owner, a song done by the light corner. Stay tuned and stay blessed. Yeah, 
Amen and amen and amen. We are glad and Holy Ghost Deliverance in Christ Ministry wants to take this moment to say a big thank you to our brother for this ministration song. We love you. Let us pray. Our Father Yahweh, we thank you for this new month, new day, new hour. As today is the fifth day of the fifth month of the year 2024. We that believe in divine timing and divine programmings we want to take this moment to say thank you for your son Jesus and thank you for his finished work we are here again to humble ourselves with supplications to hear your words speak to us rebuke us, chastise us, and correct us with your restorations. Your mercy, your grace is sufficient. We thank you for your son's finished work. You see us, you see your son's Jesus. Your grace is in us because we have believed in your son's gift you gave the world and he is seated at the right hand of you pleading for us sinners and those that are even confused they don't know where they belong yet we were yet sinner he still took our infirmity our shame, our death, our sickness upon him. We want to take this moment to say, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, this session is open. My dear saints, it's Holy Communion time. Before the communion start, as a ministry, we want to say we are not on air on Friday for divine alignment and divine purpose planning. The Bible says Jesus was with the multitude and sometimes he leave the multitude and go to a quiet place. We are glad that we have over 400 messages on the website. You can have access to them anytime, any moment, any hour for free. 
So for those of you that we are looking for us on Friday, it was for your good. And we are glad to tell you your confirmation you have been looking for. What you have been asking God for. It takes two or three to confirm what God has spoken to you. He might spoke it to you personally. And that is why any words or any prophecy that is coming for you or spoken to you directly, you didn't get any confirmation within your spirit, man. Do not yield to it. My own very self, with my 20 years coming with my Father, Yahweh, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, I needed confirmation that comes from different angles. God can speak His confirmation to you without liturgy, without programming, without your mindset about it. So if you are looking for a liturgical or assembly or a mega church or a mega pastor or a celebrity pastor to bring celebration confirmation to you, you are on the wrong side. My Bible says God ways will not be our own way, neither his thought. No wonder Jesus was rejected because people we are looking for that kind of celebrity, Jesus, because they think they know better than God. If you have a mindset like that, my dear saint, my dear beloved, God can even use a sinner to speak his words to you. Or he can use Satan to speak his words to you. Your enemy, you think, that has made you his number one enemy, God can use them to turn around. You're going to see references today. So, we are back and we are here. You have your communion. It's the first Sunday of the fifth month and on the fifth day, this fifth is a thanksgiving communion. You didn't get it. Fifth month, fifth day, and it's an alphabetical spelling of Jesus, His grace. His forgiveness, His mercy will locate you. So this fifth is going to use as a thanksgiving. You know all what you want to thanksgive Him for. I want you to realign you properly. Do not thank God only for success. Do not thank him because you have a healthy life. Do not thank him because you have a good job. Generalize it. Because the Bible says everything works for good. Even if you are broke today, you are jobless, you are sick, you are behind bars, everybody has gone against you. All hopes are gone. Use this day, use this hour to thank Him. All what God requires for us is a thanks. Thank you provokes God. Thank you is very important. The other day, Jesus said, there were ten that came here, asked help from me, but 
I only saw one that returned to appreciate and thank me. Where are the nine? May you don't be where are the nine? Because thank God, your greatest miracle on life is not material. I was, my sweater showed me an article was the last week that a man told a guy he said let me give you 10 million dollars and you go to sleep you do not wake anymore or go to sleep and wake up he choose and the poor boy said let me wake up and the man said 10 million is not worth it than your life than you went to bed and you woke up. So for the mere fact you have nothing, you are broke, you are poor, you are sick, medicals has given you up, you are listening to me, you are watching us and you woke up. Some of you, you were already marked that that is the good night, your last good night but you are awake why can't you use this moment to thank God some of you everybody has accused you everybody, all hopes are gone do not thank God just for success your enemies are helping you for your success your enemies are helping you for your breakthrough. Your enemies are helping you for your big achievement. Get ready for this communion. Our Father Yahweh, our brother Jesus, this element represents Jesus. We are confident and we are bold. Today, this month of May 2024, we want to take this communion as a thanks giving to you. We thank you for everything. We thank you for what is happening on this planet Earth. We thank you for this month. Even we thank you for Satan that is here because you have control over him. We thank you for all the enemies that are here because they are helping us to locate you, to go back to you. We thank you for their oppositions because their opposition is very constructive. If there was no opposition, human being would have not known your powerful, your mighty, your greatness. Because of the constructive of the opposition of Satan, he is helping us to go back to you and reject him and to put all hopes in you. We thank you for what the demons and the Satan thought they have succeeded. Because God, Yahweh, Jesus, Holy Spirit, you created everything here on planet Earth. This month of May, hear us and hear us again. We are thanking Yahweh, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Saint, eat and drink and say thank you to Yahweh, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit and recite the Lord's Prayer. Drink.
Amen and Amen. Our Father Yahweh, our brother Jesus, we say thank you for this moment. We say thank you for this hour. Thank you for your love. As we are about to dive into your words, we need you, Holy Spirit. Take control, take all the praise, and take all the honor. Yamabla, Musenia Uvia, where Mugohuni and Gova, Mamanan Gola, Long Gemma, a walk waving a wower, Miando Una, and the man who made a four woman, a Gafa Gafa Yepe. Matu ya Yesu Yesu e ndenge kekema kwa injo yomuva Tambe akbo muma kwa mu gola ya mune The English version will be read second For those of you that have already seen We are still dealing with power It's a three words title and we are on number 43. We are still expanding power for you to know. And as we move on, we will bring some scripture back up of beliefs and faith. But power is very important, which we all need. So, we are going to deal with another version, another importance of power. Today, there is not going to be a scriptural display on the screen because it has different, different readings. So, stay tuned in the Swahili. The first phase is going to go Genesis. 33 verse 4 to 7 and the second we go to verse 29 to 30 and I will announce it after reading the English version stay tuned for the Swahili version Genesis 33 Genesis 31 Genesis 31 verse When I was the fever the soma kitabu cha mwanzo 31 mstari wa 4 mpaka wa 7 Yakobo akatuma watu akawaita akatuma watu akawaita Raheli na Lea waje nyikani kwenye wanyama wake akawaambia naona uso wa baba yenu kwamba hanitazami vema kama jana na juzi lakini Mungu wa baba yangu amekuwa pamoja nami nanyi mmejua ya kwamba kwa nguvu zangu zote nimemtumikia baba yenu Na baba yenu amenidanganya akabadili mshahara wangu mara kumi lakini Mungu hakumwacha kunidhuru amen amen the english version it say and jacob sent and called Rachel and leah to the field unto his flocks and said unto them, verse 5, I see your father's countenance that is not towards me as before, but the God of my father had been with me. Verse 6, 
And ye know that with all my power, I have served your father, your father, verse 7, and your father has deceived me and changed my wages ten times, but God suffered him not to hurt me. Power of beliefs and faith. We are dealing with power. My dear saints, this account that we have just read is a familiar account. This year you have heard me saying a lot of ancestors. Ancestors means you are being told in the form of history or in the form of past by your family member that there was once time your great great parents have made a friendship with an unknown power it might be a good power or a bad power. So power here on act is for everybody. Be you God, the creator, the maker of everything, believer or follower, you needed power. Or you follow God's enemy, which is Lucifer, Satan, and his demon. The first thing you need is his power to show in you. So it doesn't matter what story you are told in your family. There are some family all their lives, their friendship, their covenant that they made was with unclean power. It is their right. It is their choice. It is about their happiness. But you that know your God, you that know or his love has overshadowed you. Because in this account that we are reading, it's talking about the lineage, the generation of God's best friend here on earth, which is called Abraham. I don't know what you were told in your family. Or I don't know what history you have been told concerning your nation. If history told you that once upon a time your country was built on the leadings the commandments, the beliefs of God, the creator of mankind. It doesn't matter how long. It doesn't matter how deceived. It doesn't matter how the situation look hopeless. The God that created mankind 
He's a God that remember his covenant. He's a God that remember his oath. He keeps his oath. He never fails. Because he is not like man. Some of you, you are die-hearted supporter of people that are in politics today. Before they became where they are or where they are, you were supporting them crazily. They even made promises. Some even made oath that when I win, I will never forget you. Those promises have gone to the drain until even if they were in power for decades, their oaths were never remembered. They never had a conscience to say, I promise, I promise, I made an oath. God is not like that. When God keeps his promise, he keeps his covenant with humanity, it might look like it's not meaningful. But one day, one day, that covenant will speak. We saw when the covenants started speaking, when man's disobedience, wickedness, has gone higher with people, nation that God took them for example purposes, for teaching purposes that other nation will understand who God is. The Bible says when their life was turned around into slavery, into bitterness, into Mara, there was one day that God appeared to one of them. Covenants of God always locate his own. I want you to pay attention and take note. God's covenant will never jump. I want you to understand this. When God has made a covenant with your parents, with your ancestors that you never knew about, it might take how many generations? There is always a blood lineage that he will locate and reintroduce himself to you. Jacob was grandson. Moses was back, back, back. But one day, God introduced himself. He said, I am the God of your father, your ancestors. Your nation, your family, whatever situation is playing, the time of God to remember his covenant is awakening and you will see the work of Satan so mighty as if all hopes are gone in the form of distractions. There is one thing that God requires human beings because we carry him is his forgiveness. When a nation, when a family lacks forgiveness, that nation is a devil's workshop. That family is a devil's workshop. Because God is called forgiveness. He forgives mankind. He's a loving God. And what Satan came here on planet Earth with, 
is the opposite is to hate so any nation that you are seeing that the hate thread is so higher is so mighty satan has vowed to destroy that nation because god name is love because god knows he has no love for god he has no love that is kept by god for him so everything that god was having for satan has become turned around and his final destination is in hell that is why he is called the enemy of mankind if god has called woe what god has pronounced woe who are you to say it's not woe he said woe unto this place because the devil has come last sunday we dealt with why wars shelling of blood innocent wickedness corrupt politician corrupt leaders likes satan to hide in him because satan is corrupt and when satan is corrupt when you make friendship with him when you make covenant with him corruptions are going to show all over you have no compassion you have no love for your fellow human beings all will be about you there were angels so many angels that god have but satan was the only one that greedy ambition wickedness that came into him and wants to overthrow god so when satan get hold of you you make use of his power all he is projecting into you to lose love for your fellow human beings and to hate them for no cause when they are happy it's a problem for you when they are trying it's a problem for you when they are ha happy fun, happy with their family it's a problem for you you became sleepless night because you are satan's vessel you ask yourself, why am I hating these people? What? We don't have any communication. I don't even know their names. Why am I hating them? Because you have become Satan's workshop. And Satan's idea is to destroy you, kill you, and expose you. Any friendship with satan your final destination if satan made you to do illegal activities i want you to understand that your name has already given to another to the law enforcers that i have one of the agents he is doing my work but i want you to handle him or her and lock and put him in the dungeon. That is how Satan operates. But God came to free you. Because Isaiah said, Satan will put you into prison. He doesn't know how to free you. Because he doesn't have that quality. There are most good, some good people today. They are so good. But they have allowed themselves. Satan to use them. And kept them in his prison. It takes only the grace 
of God for them to be released. So Jacob is operating under ancestors' blessings. I don't know what you were told about your ancestors. The background of Abraham is nothing to welcome home about. The Bible says his father was an idol worshiper. It doesn't matter who your father was. When you want to go through the history of Paul Baker teaching you about God, I have history. God didn't meet me at the age of 24 righteous. He met me serving Satan. His shadow, his grace overcame me. And even in the midst of that, when he showed himself to me, I was galloping. Just as I said, 24 years, you have accumulated all bad spark plugs are missing. Your engine, your engine block is getting weak. It's going to take time for it to be rebuilt in a proper functioning. It's not built in a day. Just as you accumulated all type of sin in your body was not done in one day. So when the Holy Ghost comes to you, it takes process. You will fall. No wonder David said, do not rejoice in me, for I will fall seven times, but God will rescue me. When God is with you, no one is able to overtake you. The translation that we are reading the scripture from, it talks more about power. There are different translations. They call it different way. I don't name Bible translation here because I want other Bible writers for their Bible to be published and said. So that's why I don't name a specific translations. They are all important. So, but this Particular one says, verse 6, it say, And ye know that with all my power I have served your father. We all know the story about Jacob. Jacob had rescue with his brother while they were in the womb. And he came in the physical. Until one day, the mother told Jacob, he said, Go to my brother. And marry, get wife from there. He was deceived. It doesn't matter how many times somebody has deceived you. When you have something in you which is greater. Let me show you the last scripture. And now we engulf. I will make my teachings. To have more base. Let us read again Genesis 31. And the last scripture is 29 to 30. And we are done for today. Nasoma kitabu cha mwanzo tena. Mwanzo 31:29 mpaka 30. Ninao uwezo mkononi mwangu wa ku wa kukufanya ukufanyia madhara. Lakini Mungu wa baba yako usiku huu ameniambia akisema Ujihadhari usimwambie Yakobo neno la heri wala la shari. Basi sasa umetoka kwa sababu umetamani sana nyumba ya baba yako. Mbona basi umeiba miungu yangu? Amen. Thank you my dear. I read verse 29. It is in the power of my hand 
to do you hurt. But the God of your father speak unto me yesternight, saying, Let me read it to another verse translation. You will hear exactly how this things goes. He said, I could destroy you, but the God of your father appeared to me last night and warned me, leave Jacob alone. This other translation said, it is in the power of my hand. That's what we say, power, jump power. Power plus power. Jacob told his wife, the daughter of Laban, he said, with all the power I have served your father, but he has deceived me and robbed me and took me like a trash. We all know the story. The time arose, the time came for Jacob to go to the place and continue to serve God, to prepare, to make the covenant of God to come to reality. That the spoken words of Yahweh to Abraham to come to life. I don't know how many attacks I don't know how many battles. I don't know how many deceived. I mean, I don't know how many forces that has rose, rise against you. It is not your fault. And the battle doesn't belong to you. The battle belongs to the one that has placed his power into you. We all know when you go back, Jacob's journey, he slept, he put a rock to make as a pillow, he dreamt and he saw ascending and descending angels coming. He said, I didn't know that God was in this place and God make a appearance covenant to him now. He said, I know you are operating under your father, your grandfather covenant. But now I have come to make my covenant with you personally. Shantori Hiba. There is somebody you are watching me. For too long you have been operating under the ancestral covenant. But the time has come that God wants to appear to you now and say, My son, my daughter, your father, your ancestors were with me. But now I have come to make a covenant. I don't know in my took long, but when God spoke his words, a personal encounter, and Jacob said, God, you'll be with me to go and prosper, and I will come back. Jacob went. When God is with you, sometimes the enemy will attack you. The enemy will fight you. It's not fighting you because you are handsome. It's not fighting you because you are prosperous. It's not fighting you because you are in a good place. But he's fighting you because of the world, the power you have in you. God chose the grandson of Abraham to bring to the reality to what he told Abraham. He said, I will make you father of many nations. Sometimes God speak in a parable, in the metaphorical words. That's why I said, God will speak to you, but it seems that it's useless, it's nonsensical, it's not meaningful, but to him, 
he spoke it, he's already sealed and settled because his ways and your ways are not the same. Jacob has to go back. He came, he was deceived by the father-in-law. The father-in-law carried the traditions. He said, no, I know you love my younger daughter, but it's not in this way. Sometimes when God is with you, so many deceived, so many challenges, so many attack. People will look at you, you will labor, you will do sin, but people think they are so wise. The Bible says, all you have to do is to endure. The Bible says, endurance what with Jacob. He endured because when God has spoken to you, he said, go, I am with you. So Jacob went, he left, he endured because of what God spoke to him after he wake up from the slept, he saw angel ascending and descending. It doesn't matter who is fighting you. It doesn't matter how many battles they have fought. It doesn't matter how many ways. When God was with David, when David was defeating all the enemy, nobody was cheering him, only the few goats that he was. When the bear came, when the lion came, when he deceived them, I can see the bear, I can see the goat, the sheep. We are sh we shaking their tail. They were dancing. They were celebrating. I don't know who was celebrating you. I don't know. Maybe you have nobody to even cheer you up. You have nobody to say good things about you. But God that has put his power in you, there are angels, there are heavens, the moving. Satan knows who you are. The devil knows who you are. That is why, because he wants to destroy humanity, he will give assignment to people to destroy them because they will never succeed in you. The Bible says, Jacob endure because he is now operating under his personal encounter. Some of you, for too long, you have been operating under ancestors' encounter, ancestors' covenant. But the time has come that God is now appearing to you and make a personal covenant with you. And you heard what Jacob told his wife. He said, the father, the father, the God of my father has been with me. Your father tried to hurt me, but he failed. Now, let me read the last one and you understand. Verse 30. He said, I can understand your feelings. That you must go and your intense longing for your father's home. But why you have stolen my God? Oh, what a shame, Leah. Laban, what a shame. Your God is being stolen from you. Power, jump power. One has to bow down. When the power of God is in you, it doesn't matter your environmental. The power of God was with Jacob. Jacob's environment was polluted. But Jacob knew that he has the greater power in him. When you identify the power of God in you, your geographical locations, your environmental locations, even your relationship. Jacob 
was having the power of God in him, he married an idol worshipper's daughter. For those of you that have spiritual understanding, it doesn't matter who is in your life. As I said, when an inventor invents something and he sees his performance out there, he is happy the more. So God's mighty, God's performance is being seen by him through us. That is why he created us. He said, we are his image. So when he speaks through us, he, God, sees his performance. When God has spoken to you, when God has told you that I am with you, all you have to do is to believe him. Is to take his words and leave the rest to him now. Jacob was living, as people say, in an unclean environment. He said, It is in the power of my hand to do you hurt. But the God of your father speak unto me last night. Say, take thou heed that thou speak not to Jacob either good or bad. The other one says, I could destroy you, but the God of your father appeared to me last night. And warned me, leave Jacob alone. Personalize it. Leave Paul alone. Personalize it to your life. Because I am not on my own. I am with the one that created God, that created Yahweh, everything here on planet Earth. Jacob boasted, brag it in front of the daughters. He said, the God of my father was with me and deliver me from your father. I don't know who is fighting you. I don't know how many plots they have plotted against you. The other day we had the same protection. His grandfather, somebody was about, a leader was about to tamper with his wife because he said, it's my sister. The Bible says, Abraham have to lie because Abraham entered in an environment that is very hostile, ungodly. God was not there. God told, Abraham told them, yes, Sarah, is my sister because Abraham knew that his battle is with God and when they try to tamper with Abraham's wife the Bible said God warned them and the king was angry why you did this to us when God is with you everything that belongs to you is untouchable The same went to Jacob's father. I don't know who is trying to fight you and your family. I'm always boastful and I will always say, I didn't come to this country by my own. I'm always saying I am here because Yahweh said, come here and he is doing his work. 
Because Africa is blessed to be a blessing. I repeat, Africa is blessed to be a blessing. He has all the might. He has all the power to establish me in my continent. But he's not God of selfish. He's not God of greedy. So my battle in this foreign land is not on my own. It's of the one that called me. I don't know. Maybe you are that candidate. You are the one that is watching me. I don't know what is fighting you. The God of your ancestors. The God of your father. The God that has revealed himself to you personally. Wants you to put your trust, your totality in him. As we are about to round up. It doesn't matter who is fighting you. The Bible says, Jacob, say, your father deceived me. And see what he said. He said, you did everything, but why you stole my God? The God that he has didn't deliver him. Didn't protect him. When you have the power in you, the power that created everything, there is no lesser power that will succeed in your life. I don't know who you have bowed down to. I don't know who have deceived you. Satan came to blind people's eyes. To deceive the world. This is one of Satan's candidates. And he saw, okay, your God of your father warned me. But why you stole my God? Satan is under our full stool. Satan is subjected to those that are called by God. Jacob manifested it. He spoke to the daughters. His two wives, two sisters. And when you go down, Jacob said, Look for your God. Among them, wherever, whoever you find your God with, kill. And the God was stolen by Jacob's favorite. Because he said, Jacob, our prosperity, our success was of this God. So I'm bringing it that it will help us. No wonder when you read the story, Jacob reached one side and God said, Jacob, you have too many baggages. You have too many stuff. And the Bible said, Jacob have to call his household. Bring all the gods that you have with you and bond them down. It doesn't matter who you married. It doesn't matter who is your spouse. And the God was found in Richard. But your covenant with God we speak now. It's a time has come to put all the idols. It's a loving God. You might be in an ungodly country, ungodly environment, or you're married to an ungodly spouse. But because of your covenant that speak, you have power. You have God. You have the covenant with you. We speak. May your nation arise. May your country arise. May the God of your ancestors begin to speak. And bring deliverance. The end of today's message. You are that one. That today's message is for. You want to give your life to Jesus. We encourage you now. To fast in your seat bed. As an altar call. Will be called soon. Stay tuned. We love you.
Amen, amen. 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 I don't know how your day or your night was spent but your time of personal encounter encounter has already begun as you are right here in front of this order i want you to raise your hands up like this and call your full name I don't want to know your sin. Begin to confess to him. It doesn't matter how many idols. It doesn't matter how many powers that you have carried with you that is ungodly. But the time has come that God wants you to put everything aside and totally believe in him. I give you a few seconds to do that. And say this after me, after calling your phone in. Say, my maker, my father Yahweh, I thank you for who you are. I thank you for identifying yourself to my ancestors. I thank you for the covenant that you remember for my nations, my family. Thank you as today is my time for my own personal encounter. Let your visitations fall upon me. Let your son's blood begin to wash me that you will be able to see me clear. Whatever sins that is holding me back, let the Holy Ghost fire consume it now. In Jesus' name, amen. We clap for you. You are good. Just simple prayer. All you need is faith and belief. The Holy Ghost is coming upon you. The authority being invested in me. By my Father Yahweh, in the name of his son's name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and by the power of you, Yahweh, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. Your people are here to receive your Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has come on you. Receive him now. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost now. It's coming upon you now. Receive him now. It's a gentle spirit. Oh, Maraba Kosete Rahama. Mako Sete Karehi Marama. Sete Karahaba Karahama Santariama. Receive the gentle spirit. Receive the Holy Ghost now. It's coming upon you now. Receive him now. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive Him. It's coming upon you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, your anointing, your encounter has begun. We seal this session in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. We love you. And happy new month and happy new Sunday. Trouble is not your name. Share, like, and subscribe. You want to be a financial blessing to us? We say thank you in advance and God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Amen. Amen.